I'm Eddie Opara, partner at uh, Pentagram New York. I, um, I'm here today to sort of talk to you in regards to my ideas. For a long time, I was never interested in the idea of systems. I only looked at play and chaos. I've broadened my scope and I think it allows me to learn in, from different areas um, and sort of mix those areas up um, and really get some, a lot more out of them. Um, I don't want to be blind over the course of time, you know, just like I, I don't want to be in a single place, a single medium. It's not helpful for somebody like myself. A new project that will be released next year is very data orientated. It's called Blockboard. It's currently being worked on. Um, if you go to blockboard.com, there's nothing there apart from the logo. It's going to be an incredibly interesting, exciting website. It's all about the idea of voting. Um, um, but it's voting in real-time visualization. And so when you're sort of, uh, when you normally look at votes, um, you have to, um, it usually says see results of vote. This does not do that. It, it's transparent. It shows you what's going on within the voting structure. And what we've done here is that it's a social media structure that allows you to vote on anything that you want uh, in any sort of way and it's very transparent it shows you the data unlike other systems and another thing to let you know is that you can also vote again you can change your vote so this is going to be quite quite something we tell stories a lot, but we don't talk about systems. And I feel as though you can have different types of, uh, of systems that you can relate to different types of, of clients, um, but they're very in-depth. And so this sort of information design is, does help with the idea of the creation of systems uh, in a very, very big way. This is a map of London during the, the English riots. And what we did is that we said to ourselves, well, we don't know where the intensity is. Where, where did it start? And, and, and not so much where did it end, but like everything looks exactly the same. But where's the intensity? How many rioters were in certain places? How can we do that through line weight, through structure, through abstraction? And so we developed this. So a lot of stuff happened in, uh, a lot more stuff happened in Islington than actually uh, than actually what we thought. We didn't have to create a timeline to do it, we used the aspects of thin and thick sort of um, zonal areas to, uh, within an abstract form of London with, that's sort of subdivided into the boroughs so you can actually understand what's going on. And through just like naming the, the specific days of what happened, uh, that what occurred, you can, you can define how to actually move through the actual um, uh, boroughs. Uh, the, the actual city of what occurred. Um, on, uh, you can't do that with Google. It would look like Google, <laughs> and it's, it's just not expressive enough, it's not interesting enough, you don't see that intensity. Information design is really um, um, becoming so important in our daily lives. It spans this, um, different aspects of design, and um, you know, from you know, cartography and, and mapping, um, you know, all the way over to architectural systems. Um, you know, on, online, people don't really read anymore. Um, they, they view information graphics uh, immediately and, uh, and start to understand the story from that point of view. And that's the true nature of a graphic designer, to break things down, to utilize a system to do so. So this project here is called the Stealth, or Stealth. And I, it's self-initiated, well actually based on a project for the Studio Museum in Harlem, one of my clients. And basically what occurred is that I took a piece of, uh, of board 
um, and folded it to sort of um, replicate the idea of the uh, stealth bomber. And this is a, just a quick video of it sort of closing and opening. And when it opens up, it has the illusion of actually reading the text. You can't really see it unless you're really far back in the, in the distance. And it basically says, I understand simply because you refuse to see me. It's a particular quote from the actual uh, novel. I didn't show any sort of new media work that a lot of people know me for today. I didn't want to. I think that um, that was a, a true explanation in regards to me being more, more multifaceted than what people actually expect. I think uh, a, lot, a lot of the time people, you know, people are calling me up and saying, hey, you, you, know, you can do applications and software and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but uh, you know, that's not the be all and end all. Um, there's installations, there's exhibits, um, the uh, intermingling of, the, of different mediums together really, really um, is um, attractive to me.